Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and letting me steal some of your time. It's me, RP, and we're checking out a new game, Forest Ranger Simulator, which I got a key to, but I don't understand why I got a key to this when it is a 45-minute demo that anybody can get off Steam, and you can too. Anyway, let's get going. Thank you to the developer for the key, and let's check it out. So basically, we got 45 minutes to look at this game, and you're a Forest Ranger, and you're in the woods here. You're at a park, I think. Our main goal is to repair our house. Let's get rid of that. And now what we need to do is we need to go over this booklet. But we're not going to go over this booklet. I'm just going to show you the pages. You can go ahead and pause the video. Read it for yourself if that's what you'd like to do. But if you're like me, you appreciate somebody else doing the reading for you without reading for you simply by showing you what all 12 of those pages said to us. And we'll do that naturally just by playing this 45 minute demo. So let's get started. I'm gonna clean up here. It wants us to clean up a specific type of waste. So you're, you're, you are a forest ranger slash garbage collector. But don't feel bad because that garbage earns you money. So hit Q, and you'll get this really cool vision where it allows you to distinguish different types of garbage from other types of garbage. And what we're looking for is the plastic and metal. We're not going to dump it there yet. We're going to go get some more of it. We need to get five kilograms of this stuff. And we're going to get everything that we have here at the home base. If you find garbage that gives you a two-hand icon, you have to pick it up. It's too big to put in the bag. So we'll have to take that and just toss it right in there. All right, I'm going to take off Q. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, joining me and taking a look at this game with me. I love these little simulator games. And this is Forest Ranger Simulator, so slash garbage pickup simulator. But it's cool. The game is kind of like, you know, teaches you about the environment. And, um, you know, it's heavy on, uh, you know, hipping you to ecology and recycling and you know everything we're trying to do on the planet you know to make it a better planet so uh the game is is what i'd call a chill game without a doubt all right no doubt that this is a chill game all right so we just left right down that road is our camp and our compass shows us that blue flag is our camp um and we just left the camp, and I'm down here like, this is what you would be doing in the game. This is the park. This is where people come. I don't think you ever see people. I think you just see the aftermath of people. And this is the aftermath of people right here. More garbage. Well, what I came for is the yellow stuff. Uh, because that's what I need in order to succeed in this quest. We're going to scoop up all the yellow. Hello. How about you? Green is glass, blue is paper, gray is um, mixed. That's what they call it. Like, see that? Mixed. That's. But see, that's actually a paper cup. So, but whatever, whatever. I'm not going to quibble. I've got 4.61 grams. Let's go ahead and turn off Q. And I hold shift to run, but at the same time, I've got a meter right down there on the bottom right next to the compass on the right-hand side of the compass, and I am losing stamina. All right, so I will have to take a rest. Let's go ahead and hit Q and get our magic vision. Here you go. I want this, and I want this. Anything yellow goes in the bag, and we're trying to get up to five. And we are at 489, 499, and there we are, five. But hey, this stuff's worth money. So I'm going to go ahead and go above five, only because, like I said, it's worth money. And uh, we need to buy some stuff throughout this little 45 minute demo so actually grabbing everything yellow is not going to be a bad thing it is eating up a little bit of the time but hey I, like i said we are going to need the money because let's go ahead and discuss why we're going to need said money let's turn off this and get back to the camp and while we're making our way back to the camp i'll tell you why we're going to need said money because we've got a hunger bar there you see our little portrait? It's got a little dish and plate and fork, and it is moving counterclockwise and depleting, going from a kind of a light brown to a darker brown, I guess. There, I'm out of I'm out of energy. My heart rate 
Uh, I'm like right now. This simulates me running so fast. I'm like, I'm bent over, my hands on my knees, panting. You know what I'm saying? All right, now I can run again. I'm gonna run as fast as I can, and we're gonna dump this stuff. And you'll see what I mean. We're gonna get money as we do it. So this is how you're gonna make money through the game. So the garbage is is your form of uh, currency. It's how you're going to get paid. So if you see right there, right above or right next to the uh, the uh, player portrait icon hunger meter is our money going up. So keep dropping all of this stuff until it gets in there and we'll complete this quest and we'll rush to do the next one. All right, I'm going to show you the notepad. The notepad is this part of the game where it's the, I guess this is the notes. Yeah, it's notes. You got environmental trivia, uh, nature trivia, and atlas of mushrooms, okay? So we've just found a day in the forest. If you want to read that, go ahead. The beauty of YouTube, the pause button. All right, so feeding birds is the next quest. So what we're going to do, go right on over to this table. We have bird seed. I'm going to scoop that bird seed right up. Now we're going to go over here. I'm going to hold Y. I'm going to hold the bird seed in my hand. And we're going to go walking up to this thing. And voila, we put bird seed in there. All right, we have another note. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's worth planting trees. Go ahead and, re and read that if you like. Excellent. We're also getting rewarded with uh, a little bit of money. And uh, before we continue on, there are uh, items that highlight such as this. And if they highlight, you get to scoop them up. I'm going to go ahead and say yes to this and just scoop that right into my inventory. All right, the next thing is, is we got to pick up this beehive and we got to take this beehive and put it in a bed of flowers so that it can, uh, you know, create honey. So this is another form of income for us. But the uh, rub is we've got to carry this beehive just like this. And I'm running out of stamina, so I have to kind of back off here. All right, let me get my breath. All right, this thing takes my breath away. All right, here we go. Run it down here because I know uh, that that's where the uh, flowers are. And when I get there, I'll show you why I know that. All right, which will demonstrate another part of that 12-page document that you guys didn't have to read. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Here we go. Flowers right here. And I'm exhausted, you know, because I just ran with a beehive above my head. All right, we're gonna drop this la uh, we're gonna drop this bad Larry right here. And it fell the wrong way, but it doesn't matter. It still works. And this is urban smog. You can read that. All right, beehive is kind of, you know, whatever. It still works. Okay, next thing is we're gonna move around. and We're gonna get another quest. Could happen any second. There we go. We need to go put out a fire. Well, that's why he picked up the fire extinguisher. You're darn tootin'. <laughs> Not running all the way back there to get that thing when we need it right now. But yeah, any one of these areas will let you put bee uh, hives. And let's go ahead and I'll show you why. Here's the map, and this is why I knew where to go. This is the only place that you can find the flowers. This whole part of the map, this section of the park right here is where you're going to have your flower beds. Get your uh, honey empire going, because if I'm playing this game, I'm getting a honey empire going. But anyway, and if you guys like this game, and if you would ever like to see it played as a full game, go ahead and hit that like button, drop a few comments, let me know what your opinions are on Forest Ranger Simulator. You know, I value each and every one of your opinions. That's what this channel's all about. You know, we play the game together. All right. Oh, guys, help me find this fire. <laughs> All right, so here's the rub with this game, man. You, you're, you're broken up by rivers. So if you don't if you don't follow the right path, and I'm like, I'm panting. You know, I'm like pushing this, this ranger, and he's just like totally, you know, dying. Exhaustion. Uh, you have to, oh, uh, there it is. You have to cross the bridge. 
you have to cross bridges to cross these rivers. Like, look at how shallow that is. It looks like you should be able to just, like, hop over it. Uh, you can't, actually. All right, so it looks like I have to go down here somewhere. Yep. All right, there's a fire here. There's another, another camp area right here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit our Y button. And we're going to grab our fire extinguisher. And let me go ahead and put this out. And this is going to be part of your life here in the forest. You're going to get these alarms and you're probably going to have to rush to it. And I don't think you're going to have any employees. I think it's just going to be you doing all this stuff. You handling all the uh, duties of this uh, park. Got another notepad, and that's going to be natural filters. You guys go ahead and read that. There you go. Hit E to put anything away once you equip it from that quick bar. Looks like we have a rake right here. I have to pick that up with both hands, so that isn't something that I could actually utilize. All right, we need to rescue the forest dwellers. And I'll go ahead and start that. All right, so this is all garbage. All right, well, that's a paintbrush, but I believe it's garbage. This is all garbage, but we, we don't have time for that. All right, if we were playing a full version of the game, we'd have a truck, we'd come over here with the truck. And also, before I leave, these sections over here I found out just from my own exploring. So basically, if we were playing this game for real, right, we could put these bins here. So we'd have, you know, another set of bins in order to uh, help us clean up the areas around here because it's actually pretty big. So it looks like the map allows you to build bins all over the map so that you're not like having to run to one specific area to, uh, you know, drop the stuff in the bins and get your uh, money. Uh, that's probably a good idea, right? All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to head home. We had to come up this this little funky way. My poor guy is that. Oh, hold on, everybody. Ding, 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 ding. Hit tab. Hit skills. We have a point. We have enough to we have enough to get this one right here. There we go. I saw it up here. There was uh, uh, an alert. There we go. Now we can run. That gave us Forest Ranger super energy we are now in shape now when i hold shift if you look at the uh the, the stamina meter right there yeah she's holding steady she is dropping don't get me wrong but it's like minimal so we can probably run all the way home let's take a look at the map make sure we're on the right side of the water we need to be over here so we have to take this left we basically have to go back the same way we came because of the way the map is built. Uh, we'll be obstructed by the water, I think. I don't think I'll be able to cross. So we'll cross right here where I know we can. And I think we have to cross two bridges. One this way and one the other way. But yeah, so this is the flower area. So this would be, uh, you know, my strategy would be to just build a ton of beehives. But again, I don't know how much of the wood... Uh, you get before it's uh, depleted and you can only chop down trees that have a red X on it and if we find one I'll point it out to you as we're going through this uh, 45 minute demo uh, that again was part of the 12 pages that I didn't make you guys read so you know the only trees that you're allowed to hack off are the ones that have a red X on them I haven't seen any around here yet. I do know there are some close by. They did go ahead and do that, like, right over here. This one right here might have a red X on it. Not sure. But it looks like it's ready to... Nope, nope, it's actually too healthy to have a red X on. All right, anyway, we've got to buy a quo uh, crowbar. <laughs> crowbar. We're going to buy a crowbar in necessities... One crowbar, and I'm going to go ahead and be uh, preemptive here. I'm going to go ahead and buy a bunch of stuff, a hammer, I'm going to buy a flashlight. Uh, I am going to buy uh, a few sandwiches, All right? We need a couple of sandwiches to get through this demo. I think three should be enough. And that should take care of that. We've got some uh, mail here that we can just quickly 
get rid of because it's just kind of telling us stuff that uh, is not going to be useful yet. We're not going to have the time to do it. Also, everything we've completed, we get a little badge, which I think is pretty cool, right? We got a firefighter's badge. We've got a beekeeper's badge, and we've got a bird feeder's badge. I think this is just our general badge. All right, so our stuff is arriving. Now, uh, part of that uh, whole thing that happened uh, was that uh, on the pages there, this was part of the pages. This is where all of your stuff will uh, be dropped off. Is uh, basically what I mean. I got a little uh, tongue tied there. Basically, what I meant to say, guys, let me clear it up while I'm collecting stuff because I've got the time while stuff loads up here. On that 12 pages that I didn't uh, read, this was one of the uh, things that it points out. This is where all of your stuff will come. Let's go ahead and hit Y. Let's go ahead and grab a sandwich. Got an axe. Sandwich. Thank you. And eat the sandwich because we are starting to get hungry. And if you noticed, my screen was starting to get a little weird there. And that's why, because of that, it's getting hungry. All right, so that should be two sandwiches. Nope, we got one more sandwich coming. We've got our crowbar, we've got our axe, we've got our hammer, and we've got our fire extinguisher. We've got one bird feed left. All right, we need one more sandwich. Come on, sandwich. We ate one, and we should have two. There it is. Okay. Next thing we're supposed to do is we're going to go ahead and grab our crowbar and hit E to put it away. And let's see, on our compass, we've got a crowbar that's going this way. I mean a crowbar. We have a trap that's going this way. Go find this trap. Another easy way to help find the traps other than the fact that, you know, the compass is pointing you to it is if you hit Q, you will see it. See right there. There it is. Go ahead and hit E, and we're going to stab that. That closes that. We need one more. There's one this way. Let's see how far or how close this one might be. Can't get through there. Let me get here. Starting to lose daylight. That's why I bought the flashlight for us. Kind of bought everything I know we're going to need to get through this 45 minutes uh, ahead of time. And maybe we'll get further uh, than I think. But I think this is about as far as we're going to get in 45 minutes. Honestly. All right. Mushrooms up here. Awesome. And here's a trap. All right. Let's get rid of this trap. Dang. All right. E to remove our... Excellent. We got $20 for that. Another notepad. And what did we get? Pando, Utah. Go ahead and read that if you like. All right. Next quest will be popping up here in a second. Let's see what it's going to be. Kind of completing them so fast that it's... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm faster than the uh, game has given me the... Uh, Next quest. All right. Sweet life here. We're going to be a beekeeper. So we already uh, put our beehive down. Now we're going to go collect uh, the honey. I'm going to head back to the camp. Kind of follow this uh, woods here. There's the camp. I can see it. So this is off the trail here. We're off the trail now. We're out in the woods here. And from what I understand, the game is, uh, can, is, is billed as a chill game. So we don't have to worry about uh, threats uh, or anything like that, right? So I do want to get on the path here. There it is. And let's go find the honey that it's telling us to get. There's a nice sunset shot right there. Sun's going down in the park. And uh, we have unlimited speed now, so we can go the max speed, which isn't all that fast, but it's, it's better than this, right? Okay. I'm going to show you guys the complete game and run the clock out and we'll get as far as we can get, you know, given the time that I have to look at this. And uh, the only edits I'm going to give you guys are the uh, clearing of the throats or the coughing that I might have to do. All right. Our honey's over here. Yeah. And it's ready for us to pick up. We do our hand, swipe it right into our uh, inventory. And now I think it wants us to go sell it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head back to the camp. Now, if we hit F, 
and bring up our flashlight. And uh, just follow our compass back to the camp. I think, oh, nope, we're going the wrong way. I always get a, a little confused when I'm over here collecting uh, the honey. All right, we put the honey there, but our camp is this way. Yeah, we want to go this way, and then we want to go across here and head right back to the camp right up this road. Now, you can find your way around the map by planting flags. If you look at the compass right now, you see that there is an icon of a house, but there's also a blue flag. So we can buy flags from the store, and we can plant these flags uh, strategically around the, around the camp, you know? So remember, this is a camp. People come here. You're a forest ranger. This is your base of operations, which is in total shambles. Your main quest is to get this thing repaired. The only way you're going to get it repaired is by uh, uh, give, giving it lumber and uh, nails. Nails you're definitely buying. So you're going to have to, you know, keep collecting this garbage in order to make money. And uh, you will have the option of turning the trees that you're allowed to cut into lumber. But I think you actually will have to buy uh, the table saw for that to happen as well. So, you know, it's it's got, uh, you know, a pretty good loop, I would say, for, you know, progressing for a game like this. It's... Uh, not just about picking up garbage. As a matter of fact, like picking up the garbage is your only money, right? Other than selling your honey, which is what we're going to do right now. All right, by holding Y, I'm going to grab... Oh, I don't want the sandwich. I want the honey. There we go. So I'm, I've got the honey in my hand. If I hit R, I can drop it. So by dropping it in this part of the, uh, you know, broken down house. By the way, I can just go right, right here. Uh, that's where you put stuff to sell. So that honey's sitting right there on the floor. We throw it up for auction. And that takes care of that. All right. Did that. That gives us the oldest tree uh, story here. And that's basically a 5,000-year-old tree in California, which I think is pretty awesome, man. That's in the White Mountains in eastern California, a longleaf pine that's 5,000 years old. Pretty damn awesome. All right, we are going mushroom picking. Now you guys saw mushrooms as we were, you know, kind of doing what we were doing earlier. So let's go ahead, open up the map. The map allows you, you know, where you should be going to get the items that you're looking for. So I think the closest one is this way. Yeah, we'll go to the back of the house here. And, um, yeah, we'll get some, uh, mushrooms. Let me take a look at the map, make sure we're going in the right direction. And we are. And I believe that's a mushroom. So I'm going to turn out the flashlight. I'm going to hit Q. I already had Q on. And now we can see the mushrooms much easier. And like I said, the game is billed as a cozy experience as far as uh, threats so we don't have to worry about that our honey just sold so we made some money just gonna go along here and pick up all the mushrooms that I can if you notice as I pick up the mushroom the uh, basket icon that's appeared right above my stamina bar is filling up similar to the bag you know, when you're filling up an item with bag, uh, when you're filling the bag with items, we'll learn how to speak. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's just keep doing this. It tells us that we are no longer supposed to be. This. I can tell you right now, you've got to get this thing filled or it lets you off the hook here. So as many of these as we can find in one area is absolutely going to be uh, better than having to run around and find a couple of patches. And I think we hit pay dirt here. I think we're going to actually get this thing done. Yep, we did. All right, excellent. We got a skill point. Uh, I don't know if we can use that yet. Get a skill point. I think we're done. Yeah, notepad. And now we have fungi, 
right here, we, we, we found some mushrooms, and it'll tell you what kind of mushrooms they are. And we've got this fungi note as well underneath underneath nature trivia. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, we're going to start take care of your beehives. We're basically going to go repair one now. I'm going to go ahead and top this off. And there we go. We've got a full basket. Might as well, right? We only needed one more. All right, so we're still moving here. We're, we're starting to get hungry again. I'm going to go ahead and let's take a look at what we're trying to find here. So we're going to head out over here. And I think right here is a is a broken uh, hives. So basically, also, let me point this out to you guys. This is the one that we put down, but there is one right here. And if we pick it up and drop it, it becomes active. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't know if you can put more than one in the same area. But it, they haven't spread out. This one's broken. And this one right here, we could pick it up and actually get it working but we're gonna head for the broken one you know because we are on the timer here and i always let me put my flashlight on until daylight comes up we're gonna have to just work through the night we have no choice to work with our flashlight you know we are the ranger of this park now yeah our honey is this way i know i went along this way and we're just going to follow this. I'm glad this game uh, has a nice, smooth, uh, first-person camera that we are not experienced nauseating head bob. And if we did head, and if we did have head bob, I would hope that it would allow us to turn that nauseating off. <laughs> but anyway, that's that's my thing. All right. So what happened here? Oh, this thing fell over. No bees, uh, no bees did anything to this. Let's see if we can get this standing upright. I don't know how you're supposed to turn this. Oh, uh, there you go. I think that might do it. There we go. Oh, 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 nope. I, I think it's got to be right side up because we did have this right side up. This is the one that we emptied. If you if you got if you remember all right let me drop it see if it lands perfect all right great yeah because it wasn't getting any honey uh, the one we're looking for is this way though so let's take a look at the map and we are this little little uh, triangle we need to head to this we're gonna switch up right here and hopefully be able to head over here and repair this now we got the hammer if you remember we bring up the uh, Y menu uh, if you guys remember we got the hammer that's why we got the hammer so we'll go ahead and put that away uh, we need the hammer in order to repair the uh, hive right looks like there is a hive this way and I think it's right here and here it is all right excellent we'll bring out our hammer put this thing together all right now we can put the hammer away got another notepad and we got two experience points for being a tinker and construction of the hive get a little story there and i think that's all we got so yeah now we can pick this up turn it around i don't know how you get it to go in like different uh areas you know like how you get it to like do that all right let's go ahead and hit start i'll pick that up again and uh maybe i can uh toss it into one of these flower beds uh you know do some good nothing all right well we don't have time we don't have time all right what's it want us to do we need to collect three kilograms of glass all right let's get on to this side of the park and let's go Th this is sticks you can pick these sticks up if you pick them up it'll start a bundle of sticks see that it just created a bundle and you add to it by picking up more sticks similar to the mushrooms and i think we can get one bundle of sticks there they are we've got a bundle of sticks i don't know what we're going to do with them but we got them 
Alright, so we're looking. What is that? Blowing. There. Oh, that's our beehive. Alright, cool. I know where we're at. Glad I saw that. This will help us get to where we need to be faster. We can maybe see as much of this game as we can in 45 minutes. It's all based on how fast I can get these tasks done. All right, so we need three kilograms of glass. The glass are items outlined in green. Turn off the queue. I'm always in queue. It doesn't seem like it's... Does it slow you down? I can't tell. You guys, let me know. If you think it slows slows me down, I'll... Oh, we need to eat that little uh, funky little screen thing here. See this screen thing here? That's telling us we're too we're, we're getting too uh, hungry. There we go. All right, I'm going to eat one more time here and get filled up. There we go. We'll buy some more food if we need to. But right now what we need is glass, and that is down this side where the camp is. We have to go visit one of those campsites again. I do not believe there's any glass in the camp area that we are at so we actually do have to go right over here i'll put on q again highlight our garbage and now we're looking for green right here and turn off the flashlight scoop up three kilograms of green garbage all right we'll get that done oh, get, in, get, get into my bag there we go so yeah you just tap the left mouse button and it scoops it up. If you hold it, you'll pick it up. We need to find some more. I do know there are some more uh, pieces of garbage over here. Need the flashlight until we get there. Once I'm around the garbage, I can just use the highlight to see it right here. All right, here we go. Flashlight kind of uh, blinds me. All right, hey, that's exactly three kilograms. Awesome. Check it out. Went to the right place. We're done with this, so let's go ahead and uh, stash this as fast as we can. We're gonna have to buy some more food. We'll, we'll buy uh, we'll buy three more sandwiches. Sandwiches are good. You gotta eat them though when you're half hungry. Well, they're good for half health, so two sandwiches would fill you up. Uh, but we do, yeah, we uh, we should see if we can spend any more points. See if we uh, have anything that we can uh, get. We still have 15 minutes left of the game. Let me let me check real quick on skills. Did it unlock anything? It didn't. So we don't have any uh, any skills that we can get. Oh, oh, we do, we do, right here. All right, we got auction skills. We've got this skill right here, woodworking. We can unlock that. We can unlock maybe that. Nope, we can't. But this uh, unlocks Builder. All right, excellent. So that's how the skills work. But Oh, look at this. This is Tree Cutter. All right, there's a lot of cool things that I didn't see, but I just saw. So I hope you guys, uh, hope you guys uh, get what I just did there. So we saw some more stuff in the game. We got 15 minutes left. What are we supposed to do? Oh, green right here. Got a little sidetrack. Let's dump this green stuff. Three kilograms of glass. Meet that requirement. Great. Another notepad plus 20 bucks. All right. What do we got here? What do we got? Uh, this is just mushroom. Oh, fire in the forest. All right. So it's going to teach you that, you know, glass will cause fire. Well, we know that. You're a kid and you use glass to burn ants. You know, magnifying glass. You get it. All right. Sorting rubbish in the field, it wants us to buy a container. We can just buy it right here. We don't have to go anywhere. We'll buy the paper container for 50. We can also buy another... Con oh, we just got 50 bucks for doing that. That's great. Another notepad. Construction of the hive. And fire in the forest. And recycling fashion. That's what we just got. And I'm going to say yes to that. And I just bought the purple one right here. All right. So now we're going to take care of the forest birds. We're going to buy a birdhouse, place it in the forest, and fill it with seeds. So we need to come over to our computer again, which is cool because I need to buy sandwiches. 
our health up because I'm moving pretty good through the game. Want to be able to not have to deal with food issues. Okay, now we're going to buy a birdhouse. That should be here. Buy that. And we're done. We still have money left. Excellent. All right. So at this point, wait for the birdhouse to come. So what I'm going to do is if we throw this stuff in here, we can sell it. These are electronic items. And we can actually make a little coin uh, from this garbage by auctioning it off. This radio will sell. So while we're waiting for the delivery, go ahead and toss this in. We got one delivery. I'm just going to wait for the other ones. And I'm going to put this stuff up for sale. Look at our board here. We're getting more badges. We got a mushroom badge now. We got a honey badge. Uh, we got a, a builder badge. This is awesome, man. I, I kind of dig this. I don't know why. I, I like I like little achievements like that. It's pretty cool. All right, so let's sell this stuff. This will give us a little extra money. You know, so I demonstrate the auction to you. Uh, basically, what this is uh, showing you is that not everything is garbage, you know. Some things you'll throw in here. Uh, some things you'll, uh, you know, auction off, make a little money. You know, I don't know if this would be worth anything. You know, this crappy lamp. You know, I'm just going to let all the stuff kind of accumulate. Let me see if that lamp is something that would sell. Go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. So I'd put that lamp up, you know, instead of, instead of uh, you know, dumping it in the purple bin. All right, so it looks like uh, all of our stuff is here. Let's go ahead. I'm going to need my sandwiches. Go. All right, I got my sandwich. What else were we supposed to buy? Got three sandwiches. What's the quest? Oh, the bird feeder right here. All right, so we're going to take this bird feeder, and it can't be uh, too close to the other bird feeder. So we have to actually take it out here. And get what's called far enough away to be considered in the woods and not near our cabin. So this right here should do it. We should be able to put it right here. Now if I open up... Yep, that's it. It worked. I can put bird feed in there. We've got bird feeders. It'll tell you about that. Uh, I am going to do that. Let me get rid of my bird seed. Oh, that sticks. No. I want bird seed. Thank you that bird seed in there and now we're going to do field orientation and plant flags let me pick my sticks back up so now that's taken care of so this is the uh, part I was talking about if you put down a flag in certain areas you'll be able to uh, you know get your location better all of those woodpecker sounds are all the items that we put in there selling so we're making money you know because we got to feed ourselves right all right, so now we need flags. How much are flags? Flag a spot in the field marked with a green compass symbol. So we're, it's only telling me one flag. So I'm hopeful that all I need is one flag. We have a blue one for the house. Let's do a... Uh, we'll do a yellow flag. We'll buy that. And um, hopefully that's all it wants us to do is just to demonstrate that once. Uh, I think the mail is just telling us all the items sold. So I'm not even going to pay attention to the mail at this point. And we do need to have the flag show up here. It's going to be interesting to see what the flag looks like. Well, I know it looks like this. So it'll probably look like that. And we'll have to scoop it up. Put it in our inventory. I have no idea. Cabinet. I wonder if it's useful. Anyway, we gotta wait. We got 10 minutes 32 before the demo is out, and we've gotten pretty far. And if you guys, uh, like I said, if you guys would like to see me play this game, uh, just uh, don't forget like button and don't forget to comment. So uh, you know we can have a discussion if we want to even play this game. Okay, I need more food. Need more food right here. Eat another sandwich. There we go, we're nice and full. All right, so we're going to head for the compass area. 
Let me take a look and see if I can see it before we get there. And not. So I'm going to have to... We've got a water way here. What is this? I haven't been up here. Pretty interesting. But I don't think it gets me to where I need to go. I think we're going to get stopped by water at some point. I am following the direction of the compass. We have a bridge right here. This bridge is for ducks. Oh, uh, we can put uh, feed here for the ducks. All right, but uh, I need to be on that side, I think. So it looks like right here is the trail. You guys see what I'm talking about, right? We can't cross water. No, that's it. There's a wall right there. It's not going to let us cross water. We have to stay on the trail. And it looks like... We're going to have to go up and then across over here. Uh, yeah, I got eight minutes. You know, just, just about eight minutes to do this in. Now, can I make a little shortcut this way? I think I can. What am I looking for? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that the trail? That's the trail. I don't want to break my uh, ankle. But uh, yeah, I think I, uh, I think I made a shortcut. All right, let's get running. You know, this is what running looks like. <laughs> Sorry that it looks like uh, slow motion, but it does. But listen to all the uh, sounds, right? All the nature. But yeah, having a car is definitely going to be something that you want. I think we need to head. Can we head over this way? You know, I don't know how we're supposed to get to uh, the location. All right, it's right over there, but can I make it across via here? You know, it's kind of like a, a linear puzzle at the same time, right? I think we're making it. I think it wants us to put it over here by this garbage. Looks like. Oh, look at that. A purple tire. All right, where else? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Right here. Here's the marker. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and uh, hold our Y. And we did put that right here. All right, and let's go ahead and plant it right. How do I plant it? Just R to drop. Is that it? I did it. Flag a spot. All right, good. R to drop. You just drop it with R. That completes the quest notepad. What did we get this time? Compass history. All right, the history of the compass. We got six minutes left. Monoroll. What, what, what next? What next? Anything? Dangerous. Oh, we're going to go cut a tree. All right, very good. Uh, cut down the withered tree marked with a red X. All right, so we gotta find a gotta find a withered tree. What's going on here? I'm, am I getting attacked by uh, ducks, geese? What's happening? I, I felt unsafe for a moment. <laughs> All right, we gotta find a tree that has a red X on it. Uh, and we have six minutes to do that. All right, so I think what we should probably do is get on to the mainland if we can, and I think that's right over here. I, I don't see any trees with any X's. We can get our axe ready, though. That's right here. Right, let's see if we can find the tree with the red X. It's basically, they should be... You know, anywhere and everywhere, right? We've got a, a minute left before the game is over. And then we'll see what it's like when the game is over. Is this a dead one? This is it right here. Look at this. 58 seconds left, folks. <laughs> All right, one hit, and now we have lumber. I can go ahead and put the axe away. Now we cut down the withered tree marked with a red X. Let's see what the game tells us to do before the 40, 
42 uh, seconds are up to 30 seconds. Anything else, game? I'll just start walking. Listen, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with me for this one. This was Forest Ranger Simulator, 45-minute demo. Uh, again, thanks to the uh, developer for giving us a key to the 45-minute demo. And uh, uh, if you guys want to see more of this gameplay, don't forget to hit that like button and uh, drop a few comments. Let me know what you think about a game like this. And uh, other than that, we are 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Game over. Game time is up. You can continue ad your adventure in the full version. All right, that'll do it for me, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for letting me steal some time. And I will see you in another video. So ta-ta and bye-bye.